what is good guys welcome back to my channel Kelechi here it's been a long time coming and in today's comparison i will be comparing the new huawei y9a to the infinix note 7. now this phone is a smartphone that does all things rightly except for some couple of issues i wouldn't blame the company for i will be comparing it to the infinix note 7 that is barely four months old and is still very valuable out there in the market of course you have the infinix note 8 just introduced but this phone still feels a lot decent in terms of performance but at the same time overshadowed by some competitions but it still does not perform any less to one's expectation i have the 6 gig variant and will be compared to the 8 gig ram of the huawei y9a in terms of performance camera as well as design speaking of design they both look very decent we have the same camera model on both devices a quad camera combination but different placement for their led flashlight my favorite thing about the Huawei Y9A is how it looks. The color at the back is really fascinating. A choice that Huawei calls Sakura Pink. It gives the device a two-tone color finish when slightly tilted towards the light. The design isn't so different from the Infinix Note 7 that has a gradient finish. And both of them are plastic and have almost the same physical features. You have a side-mounted fingerprint of both smartphones. And I will be testing out the efficiency and how fast compared to each other. You also have the volume rocker on the right. On the left, you'll find a memory and SIM card tray for the Infinix Note 7. But coming to the bottom, there is a Type C port for the Y9A and a dual nano SIM card tray, a noise counseling mic for call clarity on both devices, and a speaker grill. The quad camera combination of the Note 7 is a 48 megapixel compared to the 64 megapixel flagship lens of the Y9A. And to be honest guys, there are still some magical features that the Note 7 poses that matches up to the camera of the Y9A. Take a look at these picture qualities. They are both decent with good details, but I really enjoy the performance of the Y9A, especially in a daylight shot. And Huawei is no stranger to good camera, complemented with an 8 megapixel ultra wide lens, unlike the Infinix Note 7. Despite not having an ultra wide lens, it is not an issue, your image is not less performed with good details and saturation level. They both have a 2 megapixel depth and a 2 megapixel macro lens that complements their image qualities. On the front you have a 16 megapixel camera lens on the Huawei Y9A and also a 16 megapixel camera lens on the Infinix Note 7. So this is what both qualities look like. What do you think of the sound quality and the picture quality coming from both devices? So how fast is the side-mounted fingerprint unlock of the Infinix Note 7 compared to the Huawei Y9A? In all three times unlock tests, the Infinix Note 7 is the fastest than the Y9A. When it comes to video recording, on both devices they shoot at 1080p and also 720p resolution. And of course they have good video qualities. There's clarity in their images. The background is well defined and you can easily separate colors as well. The Note 7 appears natural, almost the way you're looking at it. But on the Y9A, there's too much beautification. And if you look closely, you will see a lot of saturation in its video quality. So if you were to make a choice based on the video recording quality of both devices, which one will you go for? The Infinix Note 7 or the Huawei Y9A? Please let me know, drop a comment below. And when it comes to performance specification, both of them are MediaTek Helio processors. The Y9A sports MediaTek Helio G80 processor chip that is clocked at 2 GHz speed and 8 GB of RAM with a 128 GB of internal storage. The Note 7 sports a MediaTek Helio G70 chip that is also clocked at 2 GHz speed, 6 GB of RAM and a 128 GB of internal storage. These phones are not slow in any way, and of course, they have a good battery life that complements the spec. You have a 5000 milliamp battery in the Infinix Note 7, and you have a 4300 milliamp battery life in the Huawei Y9A, and they both support fast charge feature. And speaking of fast charging feature, I'm a little curious to ask which one charges faster than the other. And I know someone out there is looking up to such comparison to actually determine which of these devices charges faster than the other. So please hit me with your comments, let me know, and video will be right up as soon as possible. The Y9A is available at $342 today, or $130,000 in Naira. The Note 7 is now $229, $87,000 in Naira. 
So if you already have the Infinix Note 7 as your daily driver, it is not the wrong choice. But I love what the Huawei Y9 A has brought to the table. No notch display with slim bezels. And yes, there is no play store. It is Huawei's app gallery. So guys, what do you think? Now, if you'd like to see a gaming test or whatever you want me to test out on both devices, please hit me in the comments below and let me know and video will be up live. Thank you so much guys for watching the video. Please hit on that subscribe button before you leave. Peace.